Hey everybody and welcome back to Video Game SO. Tearing out a very fun and very exciting episode for you guys this evening because I am playing a pre-release version of Mega Splatterhouse, a conversion of the original arcade Splatterhouse to the Sega Mega Drive and Sega Genesis. A big thanks to Monster Bath Games for sending over this demo. I wanted to check to see how it was doing on Mr. FPJ and as the developer didn't have one, it kind of garners a lot of good details as far as how it's working on the Mr. side of things. And if you've ever seen me or my channel, you'll know pretty much every October I try to advocate for Splatterhouse being one of the best horror franchises out there as far as a beat em up is concerned. And while we do have the arcade original from Hotego on the core side of things, getting another version of this game is never going to be disappointing and it's going to be a great Halloween gift for everybody. Before we get to fire involved though, do me a huge favor, down below, hit like and subscribe and ring that notification bell, it definitely helps us out. And if you feel so inclined to watch part of the channel, we got a Patreon link down below as well. But I will say, even though the developer told me that this was still in beta and I may encounter some bugs, I saw and felt absolutely nothing that made me think that there was any problems with this whatsoever. This looks, feels, and plays exactly like the Splatterhouse I know, love, and remember. And even though I played this game dozens of times, I was having the same amount of fun trying out this demo as I would if I had loaded up the arcade core or my FM Towns Marty version of the game. And I will show you some footage of both the arcade core as well as the FM Towns version to kind of compare what the differences are here because obviously bringing Splatterhouse over to the Sega Mega Driver Genesis is going to be a slightly different color palette just based on the hardware but I would say that everything looks appropriately dank and gory here. I love all the bodies in the front of the screen. This really is the full fat Splatterhouse experience just on Sega hardware. When I get to the sound example in this video I love how everything sounds coming out of the Sega hardware. There was always a certain grittiness and crunch to a Sega Genesis and how it sounded and I think it works absolutely perfectly in the context of Splatterhouse and its horror themed music. And the best part is there's really easy ways to check how the game has been translated over. This is a free boss fight in every version of the game. If you go all the way to the right side of the screen, tap left, crouch and then just basically spam kicks you will not be hit in the entirety of this boss fight it's pretty much a known cheese strat and you can do this on any version of the game so long as that version is adhering to the arcade original and here on mega splatterhouse i was able to go into the corner crouch down spam those kicks and defeat the boss without taking a hit like i would in the arcade version of the game and that tells me that all of the logic is coming over correctly into the port and it should be behaving exactly as you would expect and according to the original arcade pcb and speaking of which this is the first level on the arcade core and you can see that there are different color tones going on here but I would say there's something about the colors on the Sega Genesis that I actually find slightly more appealing including some of the blood effects on the wall they're a little bit bronzy and rusty here that's how the arcade original would look but honestly I kind of still like both it really is subjective as to which one you would think is better so leave me a comment down below and tell me arcade original look or do you like that Sega Genesis vibe going on because again it is different hardware so of course is going to have a different visual appearance but I absolutely love both but as we move back over to the Sega Genesis version of the game quickly in that same spot you can see the overall color difference. The reds are a little bit more red and a little less brown. The background is a little bit more lighter gray but it 100% works and of course all of the sprites here look exactly like they should as a perfect representation of what you would expect to see. As we move into that same boss fight on the arcade version again the reds get a little bit rustier and that is what it should be. The core is doing the exact same thing as the PCB should and it definitely has a nice gory look to it but it's one of those things you kind of have to decide for yourself which one you like better and I'm curious to hear what people think but look at all of those dead worms on the ground. Look at the trail of blood in the middle of the screen. Look at the green on that hanging zombie in the corner and kind of get a good sense of what those colors look like. Because I'm going to move back over to Mega Splatterhouse and you will see that there is a tone shift. But honestly, I think it really does work. I love the reds being redder and I love that zombie hanging there just being a little bit more green in the slime. It's going to be totally up to you. But the great thing is Mega Splatterhouse looks absolutely outstanding on the Sega Genesis hardware. And the the best thing is you can play this obviously on Mr. FPJ as I'm playing it here. You can play it on original hardware and you can even use software emulation so it's going to be available to everyone. But my favorite thing is just how the music sounds coming out of the Sega Genesis hardware. So go ahead and listen for 45 seconds I'll be back with more Mega Splatterhouse.
Not only did Namco make an amazing soundtrack, it translates so well over to the Sega Genesis, and I think I actually prefer it to the arcade original. It's got that weird machine sound in the background, it just has a really good horror soundscape going on. As we take a look at the same area in the main version of the game, you're going to notice that there is a wrench there you could throw, and at least in this demo, the developer told me it's not programmed in yet, so hopefully that will come soon, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal if the wrench isn't there when you potentially play this game. And this is just a love letter to Splatterhouse, it's such an amazing franchise. All three games are so much fun, and then the remake is a decent time, but definitely a little bit flawed. But I've been playing Splatterhouse ever since I was a kid in arcades. I loved it on the Sega Genesis, and I still have all three original games as well as the remake in my collection. So it's one of those things I've always enjoyed this franchise, and honestly, getting a new version of the game is a ton of fun. And before you say down below in the comments, but we already have it. The point is people do this for fun. They do it because they love a franchise, and yes, technically, this really isn't quote-unquote necessary but honestly what is and as we move into this next area i love the blue in the water here and that kind of slimy moldy green on the brick wall it's one of those things you get a different look on the sega genesis but it's so effective and it feels so sega like and i'm really surprised considering splatterhouse 2 and 3 came out on the sega genesis that namco never brought over the original game it's available on pc engine and turbo graphics and it's also available on the fm towns marty which i'll show you footage of in just a little bit but as we take a look at the arcade core again, I would say that I don't prefer this version as far as the colorways are chosen. The background there, the bricks look like they're basically brand new and clean, like a mason was just in here, and the water seems totally normal. The only bad thing is the sludge monsters trying to kill you on screen. But as we move over to Sega again, all of that background just kind of looks moldy and a little bit wetter. The water looks a little bit more ominous and dank, with that shadowing up against the wall kind of going off into black. It's just a different way to look at the game, but I would say in this instance it is a more effective version more selling that horror theme and again those splats on the back of the wall obviously it's called splatterhouse for a reason this 100 look great to my eye as we move into the next boss battle this is where the demo i was sent ends it is the first two stages but the developer did indicate that they plan on finishing this and that is so much fun i love when people come and do things like this and it's not just because splatterhouse is one of my favorite franchises of all time it is just fun especially in the month of october to get a brand new Sega Genesis game, let alone one in the Splatterhouse universe. And I'm going to give you one more sound sample here because the music here is even more ominous. And again, it sounds incredible on the Genesis sound hardware. So go ahead and listen, and I'll be right back with more. A 10 out of 10 soundtrack just sounds like a 10 out of 10 coming out of that Sega Genesis sound hardware and I do love it. You'll see there I took my first death. I would say as far as this demo is concerned, it's slightly easier than the arcade original. There's a couple less enemies on screen in certain instances, but I'm sure there would be some sort of balancing of that on an actual final release. There may even be difficulty settings, but again, maybe I just played Splatterhouse a little bit too much and I was able to run through this demo only taking one death and that's because I really wasn't paying attention. But this is just so much fun and it's now the second best version of the game technically compared to the arcade original where here the fm towns version of the game was long considered to be the best port and just so you know i am playing this on real fm towns hardware i have the console as well as splatterhouse in my collection that's how much i've always enjoyed this franchise and while this was considered again to be the closest to the arcade original now mega splatterhouse has definitely taken that crown for me i absolutely love this title there's so much fun to be had here and i definitely think when it's out you should check it out if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and you tell me what's your favorite Splatterhouse game. I'd say for me, it sometimes hovers between the arcade original and Splatterhouse 2. 3 was a ton of fun as well, but sometimes the overall open-ended structure of that game still confuses me. But you can't go wrong with the arcade original Splatterhouse, and now with Mega Splatterhouse coming soon, there's one more way to play one of the best horror beat-em-ups of all time in my opinion. But we're done, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye